Hey guys, Dexter and Tanya Scott here, and we are here with the Upgraders Word of the Week. So Tanya, tell everybody what the Upgraders Word of the Week is. The Upgraders Word of the Week is comfort zone. Comfort zone, oh. Comfort zone. That's a big one. It is a big one. That's a big one. So look, there's a, a quote that I've always shared, uh, and it relates to comfort zones. It's like ships look good in their harbor, but that's not what they were created for. Absolutely not. You were not created to play it safe. So we're gonna do a little, what do you, what do you call it? A little uh, exercise. A little exercise. We need you to work with us yeah, right now. You, so we need, need you to your participate. Interaction. Right, we bit. need your participation. <laughs> so Tanya, let's go with the exercise. Okay, well a couple of days ago, we had the opportunity to spend some time with a dear couple that is so close to our hearts. And we were there with them uh, just to have a little meeting and then just to kind of catch up as well. She prepared lunch for us. It was absolutely it was, it was wonderful. Really cool. It was yeah, cool. It was so good and okay. it was something that we really did need but in that meeting we're also there uh, with her brother and he's actually also like a speaker trainer himself and he did this little demonstration with us and immediately I thought about being here with you and I told Dex that, oh I got the word of the week you know we're gonna come yeah. here with this in this comfort zone because we're, we're trainers we're speakers <laughs> we've been doing it for several years mindset development folks and this fits right down our line. I thought it was really yeah, cool. Yeah, it was so cool. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to take your hands and I just need you to clap them together just like this. You know, where your fingers are going over each other and just hold. Can you do that for me? Just just pull it together right there. Let them see the back side okay. too. Let them see everything. Okay. See? Just like Perfect. That. Okay. So what I want you to do now is to take notice of your thumbs. Which thumb is over the other? For me, my right thumb automatically went over my left. So what I want you to do is to switch them and place the other thumb on top of where you had it initially. So let's just switch places. How does that feel? Does that feel uncomfortable? Don't you just want to put your other thumb back where it was because it felt better, yeah, it feels more good. comfortable, but I want you to take it back and just leave it there for me for a minute. And yeah, just notice the discomfort. It is uncomfortable, isn't it? But guess what? You're doing it. And that's the thing that we want everybody to yeah. understand is things may not feel comfortable for you, but it doesn't mean that you can't. Oftentimes in life, what we end up doing is giving up way too soon. Mm -hmm. Because when things don't feel comfortable to us, then we want to do what? We want to give it up. We want to pass it by. We want it to just say, you know what? Never mind. And so many things come yeah. up in our mind to give us validation for giving up. But look at me. I'm still standing here with this discomfort in front of me because I can and it's what I want to do. And it's what I'm desiring right now. Yeah. So I'm going after what I want. I'm doing and going after what it is that I desire. Mm -hmm. And if I keep doing this every day, guess what? After a while, it'll get comfortable. That's consistency. That's just a bonus right there. Another word, that's okay? A nice, that's a nice bonus. That's a nice little bonus, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Consistency <laughs> will have it where, you know what? I can do that now. Then you try something new. What's new? What's next? So we wanted you just to understand comfort zones. You you may have them, but they're not they're not really our best friends. They're not. They're really enablers oftentimes. Yeah. So we want to make sure that you're mindful of that. And whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you want in your life, go after it. I'm still sitting here holding it. And it still still feels uncomfortable, yeah. doesn't it? But I can. But and you, you can know, do after a while I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. That's good, Tanya. That's another point. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Drop it, baby. It's really good, right? So listen, all we're saying is you gotta get out of your comfort zones. If you wanna do anything great, you've got to be willing to sacrifice the good. The good is what you already know. And let's just call that uh, routine. You got to get out of the routine in order to do something greater. And we're going to warn you, this is going to happen. When you step outside of the comfort zone to try something new, your subconscious memory will come up yeah. and try to pull you back into what was known to you, yeah. what is comfortable to you. But we challenge you 
stay outside of the comfort zone because that is where your greatness lives. That is where your greatness lives. Yes. So we just want to thank our, we call them aunt, uncle and auntie. We want to thank you for inviting us over on this week. We had um, a great time. We did. And it was good food. Too. It was excellent food. Healthy food. Healthy food. It was. Food. And then to our brother that we now have met and have fallen in love with as well. We want to thank you because you have helped us to give our word of the week. The word of the week. <laughs> so the word of the week is comfort zones. Okay. So guys, listen, we're Dexter and Tanya Scott. You know us. We may not know you. But we know what's in you. We'll see you next time.